was the first photo that I took uh, the, in that day and as you can see the settings are 200 millimeters f11 uh, 140th of a second and ISO 100 now the reason for taking this photo was to capture this beautiful light that comes from the right and another reason is to have the mountains in the background this is um, kind of like a heads up of what is going on and how I'm trying to portray proportion and depth and this was my first try for that day it wasn't perfect uh, but it was something that I couldn't miss as a, as a composition I had in mind um, another location from where I think the photo would look a lot better not not this one but uh, the photo that I want to try to to take but regarding to this photo um, you have to look at it as a really long leading line that supports everything from the left and then you have this uh, group of trees that supports everything from the right and the main subject uh, is placed in the right side of the image so the composition is fairly simple and this is something that I try to do a lot to keep things as simple as possible today I'm in a very picturesque place I'm near the town of Brasov in Romania and uh, these villages are called Mugura and Peștera and I will try to capture the beauty of these villages there are lots of new houses and I don't want to include that in my photos but there are still lots of old houses um, old cottages that I can frame especially because I have Bucic mountains uh, to my back I'm going to photograph in that direction the sun is over there so it's going to be slightly slight to my right and to my back so I will have good definition and good shadows and proportions as a landscape photographer one of my main concerns is to present to the viewer a true size or true proportions of the landscape I'm photographing and this is something that I will show uh, show it to you today I want to capture the impressive size of those mountains that you see so uh, so small right now I want to show you how I'm going to photograph in order for you to realize how really big those mountains are in order for me to do that I'll have to search for a specific composition something that I know it usually works and I will try to find it over here and capture it and that will be the goal of today's video for this image the settings were 121 millimeters f8 one hundredth of a second and ISO 640 I had to raise the ISO because um, it was darker over here in the valley there is a little bit of hint uh, of light coming from the right side I had to increase it uh, to make it more visible the reason for increasing uh, the ISO was that these people over here were working the field and uh, I didn't want it to capture them uh, moved as a composition this is fairly simple we have this uh, this line over here which acts as a counter point to the uh, to the house where's my cursor okay right here to the house and the tree acts like a stop point it's a place from where the attention of the viewer will turn towards the house the reason for which I enhance the light that uh, it's coming from this direction is to draw more attention to this area of the photo I didn't want uh, the viewer to look too much in um, in this area over here another thing that I did in terms of editing was to add a little bit of darkness to this part over here this hill doesn't contribute to to the story a lot the only thing that it does is this ridge is a is, is kind of like a support for the entire image 
Now, before I find uh, that specific element, I will not miss all the other photos that uh, I come across. So over there, you see this house uh, with this road that goes to the house. And I will frame it in a way that the road uh, is a leading line that will take the viewers uh, to, the, to the house. There is light behind that house and in my framing i'll make sure that i don't include that light the main reason is because that light would become an area of contrast and would would uh, draw the attention of the viewer from the house the settings for this photo are uh, one tenth of a second f11 and iso 100. now the thing that i wanted to make sure uh, was I have everything in focus including uh, the road and the house and the focal range is 135 millimeters so with f11 and given the distance between me and the house I think f11 will be more than enough This was a photo that um, I wanted to take. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to this to the exact uh, to this place exactly, and so I will show you this photo, which was done two months earlier. There was still snow in the mountains at that point. The setting on uh, the settings are 116 millimeters f11, 160th of a second, and ISO 100. And now let's talk about the image, the reason for this entire vlog. So I have the house over here with these sheep and in the background I have the mountains and this when when you have these two elements a ridge of a hill a small house or a small or a tree for example and then in the background you have the mountains and you, and you shoot with a telephoto uh, focal length it will compress the field and it will give you the viewer a good sense of proportion and depth and you will realize where that house is positioned what is the view from that house how small the house is or maybe how big the mountains are another element which is important is this tree over here and also these trees over here and these two elements act like stopping points if you follow my videos you know that i talk about about this concept a lot these elements that stop the viewer from uh, escaping in areas where you don't want uh, in your photo so it's very important to have these elements and to include them in your shot i hope you learned something useful today and if you did please leave a comment maybe share this video with your friends and until next time, keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Bye-bye.